Hey guys, it's Haley, and I am back with another outgoing package for the ongoing swap. And this one is for Patty Engineering, who is perfectly Patty on Instagram. So I'm gonna jump right in. This is the first little kit I made her. Um, it's kind of like an apple and fall kit. So first, um, I centered it around the crepe paper farmhouse paper pad, and this one is from Chanel Dittmore. She sent the whole pad. There are eight different designs in the paper pad, and I just, you know, took out the whole chunk, one of each paper. Very cute paper pad. So there's eight sheets in that. Then, um, so Laura Decker, who is Pastel Paper Lover on Instagram, she and I did a, a goodie swap, and she also sent some extra things for the swap. And anyway, so I added this. She sent two different, like, collections of paper. Um, there was, like, a very floral, shabby chic, which I was obsessed with. There was multiple sheets of paper, and then a cut-apart sheet and a border strip sheet. And then this collection with fruit had the border strips and the cut aparts and then just there was one sheet of this paper but it was it's all different kinds of like fruit themes so it was perfect I have tons of stuff to match with it and really I always like w for a collection when a collection comes out what I usually buy is like the cut apart sheets and then if there's a sheet that I can make ephemera out of those are my first go-to for a collection because then I can match with some like basic you know stripes papers or polka dots from another collection. That's just like my little tip. So anyway, um, this was the sheet that um, matched the fruit collection that she sent. And then I am pulled out a bunch of the cut aparts that she can mix and match. There's some border strips, some of the like little journal card style cut aparts, apple themed, and then Excuse me. These are some of the summery, like, and bright colored die cuts from um, Meg Nicole. Um, there's the days of the week. Then some cameras, feathers, and scallop circle. And that way she has a few, uh, like, you know, more bright and summery colors. But then some more fall colors to start pulling in, you know, the fall themes. And um, these two sheets are from Sydney Cezak, Scrappy Sid. And, um, let's see, I just thought they went well, the color tones. So she's got some bright things to pull in. Then from me, um, there's a bunch of the tickets for her DIY embellishments. These are also, I believe, from Scrappy Sid. I don't know what that sticker's on there, but these are like the acetate stickers. So she can, like in my um, tutorial, she can make ephemera out of them or, you know, use them as stickers. Then these, um, these are from Maylisa, these two. And they are the um, new collection from Dollar Tree. There's samples of the paper pads. And then I believe, oh, who sent these in? Might have been Chanel, but I'm not for sure. Um, these are the like recipe style journal cards that match them. So there are those. And then um, from Chanel, there are the keys and button ephemera. I'm gonna put them in a different bag cause they don't actually, I'll just put them all down in there. Um, I like when I was making this little kit, I was going through things and I didn't know which way I was gonna go, if this was gonna be like the big main kit or not. So anyway, this is the first kit, sort of the apple and farmhouse theme. Uh, the second kit is kind of like beachy theme. She loves the beach. Um, this is the Graphic 45 papers. Very cool. This is a very nice collection. And sent in to match it are the chipboard pieces. Then... I added, um, these are the ephemera pieces from Chanel Dittmore. They are all beach themed. This goes with it. Then in here, these are from, I believe, Lisa Vargas. No. Yeah, maybe. I think these are from Lisa T. Vargas. The hot, um, the sea sh these seashells. And then 
These are from Chanel Dipmore. Um, these were in that realistic ephemera set. They are the flip-flops, and I just added them in here. So, <clears throat> lots of ephemera. She will be all beached out. And also, in the last package, I sent her the Prima um, Seaside ATC cards. So, those are the beachy things. Then, there is this paper which is also from Chanel. There's two sheets of each. They are Kaiser Craft papers. Very pretty. Very boho and then almost like mixed media with like some Asian print in it. There's two of each of those. Then we get into napkins because she does a lot of mixed media and you know she does ATC cards, makes her own papers. So I pulled out all of the napkins and the, this one is um, a new one. This one's from Delilah's Korth. Then there are the um, boho napkins, the yellow and gray napkins, and the purple napkins from um, Scrappy Sid 21. And then to match the yellow and gray, like she makes ATC cards with those, there are the yellow and gray. These are the rest of the card and envelopes from um, Katisha Gillian's. Then there is the like homemade like mulberry style paper also from um, Delilah's Korth. <clears throat> so just some goodies to use with her mixed media stuff. There is one more card and this is the handmade card from um, Betsy who is Betsy Mulheron. I think yeah Betsy Mulheron. <clears throat> then there are Project Life cards. This is the um, Amy Tangerine Cut and Paste Edition from Chanel. This is a gorgeous collection. I didn't have this. I kept less than a fourth of it. I think I kept 10 cards, but there's a whole bunch in here. <clears throat> See, look, it has like the realistic pictures of, oh, it's just so cool. There's, I think, there are the title cards, journal cards. I don't want to go through all these because that will take forever. But there's some really cool ones in here. Beautiful collection. I want this on the top because it's cute. <clears throat> because Patty sent in samples um, from a bunch of different collections. And I wanted her to have some Project Life brand cards, aside from just the recipe style journal cards. Then, <clears throat> there is the, these Jewels and Gems, whoops, I knew that was going to come out. This is the Dollar Tree Pearl Pack, and these are from Michael's, the Flatback um, Gems. Then there are the photo corner stickers, and really, if she didn't want to use them as a photo corner, she could just cut that part off, and then they would be really cool 3D acetate stickers. There is the little purse memo pad. <clears throat> then the gel pin set. And this gel pin set is from um, Jamie DeFriend. There's 10 in there. Two of them, like some of the ink came out at the bottom, but I mean, they still work. They're still fine. It's a 10 pack of gel pins. And we all know gel pins are expensive, hard to find, and coveted. I'm obsessed with mine. And um, with her mixed media, you always need gel pins to work with things. Then she sent, these are the last of the things. There are die cuts, um, wood veneers, and um, chipboard pieces, and cork pieces. So these are all the wood veneer pieces. <clears throat> First are the little tiles sent in by Delilah's Korth. The Love Bug, Silly Monkey, Sweetheart. I figured she could work those in with her mixed media. They're very cool. There's some jars. Jar, they're actually like tags. Owl, Mustache. Those are the miss the large pieces. Then there's a whole bunch um, in here from me, Jeanette Lugo, Renee, and then some from Meg Nicole. 
These are from Jeanette Lugo, the Sunburst, and the Speech Bubble. The travel ones are from me, they're Studio Calico. Whoops. And these are the Studio Calico, um, like exclamation, I guess, set. <laughs> then, and so is the asterisk. Then from Meg Nicole are the hearts, the banner pieces. Oh, that goes with the travel kit. The music notes. And there's some really cute, like, little unique hearts. And then a wood veneer button. <clears throat> so a bunch of little pieces to work in. Most of the wood veneers she sent were, like, larger pieces. So I was thinking, well, maybe um, she prefers, like, the smaller pieces. So I tried to you know, work in the smaller ones. Then there are the stars from Lisa T. Vargas. <clears throat> and this super cute bag is from, I believe, Layla Plants. Then there are the chipboard and cork pieces. This bag is from Carlene Becker. Then um, there are the rest of the Pebbles, chips, chipboard pieces. These are all the swirls and like, fl not Florida-ly, like the swirls and fluorescent. I always, I can't remember what those are called. Um, I did keep like five or six because she actually sent them for me. I just kept the um, like um, at symbol and the little dots and just a few pieces um, from that. <clears throat> then there are these cork pieces, these butterflies, which are from Miss Chanel Dittmore. So those are the large 3D pieces. Then there are a whole bunch of die cuts. Um, she's always needing circles and scalloped circles. So um, these are the most of the circles. These circles are from Jamie DeFriend. There's a whole bunch of like one inch and then some three quarter inch. Then there are the like little mini doily punches and then sort of the oval doily punches. A whole bunch. Then there are, oops, I dropped one, oops. I am just a mess this morning, aren't I? <clears throat> oh, and these little envelopes are from Nancy Pants. Miss Nancy Sandoval, Nancy Pants 88. And then the last envelope, these are all these circles and scalloped circles. These were in that like snack size Ziploc bag. Who sent that? I don't know. Um, there are medium scallop circles and smaller scallop circles, perfect for layering with a one inch punch and a one inch or one and a half inch circle. So, a whole bunch of different pieces. A lot of times the, like, solid cardstock ones are the easiest to use, especially when you're doing, like, background pieces. They're just perfect. So, a whole stack of those as well. So, this is everything going out to Perfectly Patty. I tried to send her a lot of, like, papers, things she could punch, use for her mixed media things. Then, um, the gel pens for her mixed media and the napkins and she sent a lot of bling so i didn't know if that was because she had a lot and was wanting to get rid of it or just really liked it so i just i sent her these two full packs and then again the project life cards she loves the beach and her farmhouse and apple kit so i hope she likes everything thank you so much for so oh no 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 one more thing the lace this lace is from Delilah's Korth. So that is everything. Thank you so much for swapping again, Patty. I hope you like all your goodies. I tried to put together some things that you would like, mix and match some things. So thank you so much. And yes, I hope you guys like the video and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.